Anchor chains are heavy-duty steel chains used to secure ships to the seabed. They must endure corrosion, massive tension, and oceanic wear. Typically made of alloy steel, grade 2 or 3, for strength and durability. Chinese anchor chain factories are often located near ports or steelworks, streamlining logistics. The process includes steel bar cutting, hot forging, welding, heat treatment, machining, and inspection. Factories are ISO 17025 and class society, like ABS, DNV, CCS, certified. Raw materials come as high tensile round steel bars, usually Q345, 20MN2, or similar alloy steels. Bars are stored and inspected for uniformity, cracks, and chemical composition. A bar is cut to length, typically equal to one chain link plus joint allowance. The cut steel is induction or furnace heated to around 1200 degrees Celsius for forging. Heating must be uniform to ensure consistent deformation and metallurgy. Workers monitor glow color and temperature using infrared thermometers. The red hot bar is placed into a hydraulic or pneumatic forging press. Forging dies form the oval or stud link shape of the chain. A pin is forged inside the link or left open for welding, depending on design. For stud link chains, the open ends are joined by flash welding. Intense current melts the ends, and hydraulic pressure forges them shut. The weld area is then forged or flattened to blend with the link. Some factories use controlled air cooling, while others opt for water quenching. Cooling methods affect grain structure and hardness. Entire chain batches are reheated for normalizing or quenching and tempering. This process enhances toughness, ductility, and strength. Large furnaces can treat hundreds of meters of chain in one batch. For stud link chains, steel studs are inserted manually or robotically into the center of the link. Studs prevent link deformation and reduce snagging and wear during use. Studs are welded or press-fitted and tested for bond strength. Links are shot blasted to remove oxide scale and weld residues. Surface smoothness improves corrosion resistance and coating adhesion. Chains are coated with anti-corrosive primer, epoxy, or hot dip galvanizing. 